My mid-year reflection. The three things I learned so far this year. Number one, communication. Communication is something I've been working on all my life. Growing up, I've had language barriers with my parents. And so other ways to understand them was to work on my intuitive abilities. This made me more tuned to recognizing or trying to identify nonverbal cues. The success rate of this wasn't always consistent. And as a result, I would sometimes assume things that weren't even true. And I would expect others to understand me on an intuitive level and not have to voice my needs myself. But that also meant I didn't even know what I needed. And the problem was, I wasn't being direct, open, or honest. I wasn't asking the right questions and automatically assumed I knew what someone else thought and felt. This hurt not only my relationships with my family and friends, but also in the workplace. Let me ask you this. Have you ever Googled a question about someone's behavior instead of asking them directly? Can you imagine just how much time and energy spent in overanalyzing could be cut short just by asking them? Disclaimer, not everyone will respond the way that you expect and they may not be comfortable being open right then and there. So you need to find the right time and be patient and let them process your words while they find theirs. Here's a tip that I've been working on myself. Identify your wounds or insecurities that need reassurance. For example, I feel insecure about feeling stupid. And if a friend said something that questioned my intellect, I can confront them in a way that's open for conversation. One that doesn't look down on the other person, but tries to find common ground while addressing my needs as valid too. Essentially, building teamwork to get through adversities together. An example of questions could be, I feel hurt when you said those things. What did you mean by that? Is there something bothering you that made you say that? Questions like these show that you value your relationship with the other person and let them know that it's safe to talk about our needs and that there's always room for improvement. Number two, don't take things personally. As I said before, I expected other people to understand my needs without having to voice them because I was actively doing the same for others expecting others to read my mind and getting upset if they didn't get me. This, of course, can create some resentful and passive-aggressive behavior, which is why communicating clearly is so important. And by not taking things personally, we become more compassionate towards others. Not only that, we also give ourselves room to grow by being mindful of our limitations every day won't be easy but we're all in this together our journey will be different so who are we to judge number three journey over destination for most of us we try to plan each step of the way so that we're prepared for what's next but unforeseeable circumstances may delay or drastically change our course. And it's natural to feel disappointed and upset, but staying too long in this energy can become unproductive. And we might even get used to not taking actionable change. For me, I've questioned my path so many times and I still don't have a clear answer. I used to be the type of person who would read the last page of the book to see if it was worth read. Unfortunately, I can't do that with my life. And I don't know the ending to my story. And even though I like to think I'm the sole author, and to some extent I am, 
but I'm also a part of other people's stories too that I'm not aware of. The pages of my life are not yet available to me. But what's a life without surprises? One of the ways that helps ground me is by saying, I get to do insert activity instead of saying, I have to do this, which creates a sense of dread. I'm not sure where I heard this, but it's helped me appreciate the things I need to do and be grateful for where I am in my life. So those were my top three. What are your top three things you've learned or are working on so far this year?